in this lesson, we're going to set up our nav mesh. All right, so in the last lesson, we had set up our enemy and the mothership. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and set up the nav mesh and the nav mesh agent. So what this is going to do is it's going to move our enemy and it's going to um, create a method for pathfinding. And so to get started, the first thing we'll need to do is select our enemy and we're going to need to add a component to this. So we're going to add the component and we're looking for a nav mesh agent. So let's just type in nav and you'll see nav mesh agent pop up here. So with that, you'll notice that there is this cylinder that pops up over our enemy here. Let's hit F so we can frame in on that. And this cylinder is basically what is going to be used to um, collide with the nav mesh itself. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to adjust the height. And I'm going to adjust this to a, a height of 2. And the radius is pretty good on that. We could probably make that go up a little bit higher, but I think it should be good. And then our base offset, um, if we adjust this, let's go ahead and set this to 0. So that way it's centered up on the object itself. Okay, So it should look something like this. So this is going to basically collide with that nav mesh and it's going to orient uh, the object that this is on and it's going to actually move this object as well. So there are a couple of things that we can set up here um, beyond the the look of the nav mesh agent. Uh, we can start to mess with the steering. So how fast is this going to go? The angular speed, how fast is it going to turn? Um, the acceleration, so how fast can it get up to the max speed? And then it's stopping distance. Okay, We'll have auto braking turned on, so that way if it needs to stop toward it, uh, to its target, it will uh, obviously break on that. Obstacle avoidance. Uh, we're going to set this to high quality, and we'll leave the, pro the priority at a default value. And then we have our pathfinding, which usually I just leave this on by default. Um, so now that all of this is set up, there's something else that we'll need to do in this process. Uh, we'll need to actually bake out a nav mesh for this to work with. Now the nav mesh is going to be bound to the environment. And so we have the desert, and then we also have the, the rocks here as well. And so what I want to do is I want to combine these two. And so I'm going to actually drag rocks on top of desert and it's going to be parented to that. So when I select desert it's going to give me the access to my terrain but it's also going to uh, allow the rocks to inherit its properties. So let's select the rocks and let's set those to static and what that means is that um, those objects are not going to move. This is very important whenever you're baking out your nav mesh because it's going to take static objects and it's going to say, all right, I don't need to create the nav mesh on this object. I need to create a hole around it. So that way our um, AI enemies will go around a static object. So I'm going to say, yes, change the children as well. So it's going to make all of those static. And then I'm also going to select um, the... Um, the the mothership here, and I'm going to set that to static as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and select the desert, and what we're going to do is we're going to go up to window, and we're going to go to navigation, and that's going to dock itself right next to the inspector. So let's go to bake, and you'll see a representation of the baked agent size, and what this is doing is it's inheriting from any nav mesh agents that are in the scene. So my nav mesh agent on my enemy, okay, if we select that, let's go to the inspector, you can see that the nav mesh agent has a height of 2 and a radius of about 0.5. And so on the navigation, that's reflecting. That looks good. And you'll kind of see what it can jump up on. So w what's the height that it can jump or step up on? 
and then also what is the max angle in which it can go up and 45 is pretty good so I'm gonna leave this just the way it is we can go into our advanced options but there's a lot of things in here that we really don't need to get into uh, these are more advanced so if we want to like create uh, places where AI could climb up on or something like that then we would use something in here but we're not going to worry about that all right so everything should be pretty good right now um, we could go to areas we're going to leave everything set to default what's going to happen is it's going to bake out a nav mesh and you'll see these colors apply to it what we're going to see is this light blue colored um, overlay on top of our level um, and that's going to determine what is walkable okay and so I'm going to go to bake and then actually bake out this nav mesh you may want to give this just a little bit of time you'll see at the bottom right hand corner it's trying to bake out the um, the lighting and then now you'll see the nav mesh is actually baked out as well and so what we're seeing here is these areas in which the um, the enemy can navigate now there are going to be some areas that are just non reachable like up in this area here um, it's just not available but that's okay we can leave it there it's not that big of an issue there are also going to be um, some areas that look like you know it might actually navigate up onto this hill or something like that it's highly unlikely um, your player won't even be able to get up into those areas so um, you don't have to worry about that um, so looking at the rest of this it's looking pretty good um, we see that we have our mothership that was set to static and so it, it baked around that um, so with that really quickly if you wanted to you could remove those rocks from the desert and just bake the desert itself um, but you know it's always a good practice to just kind of you know bring all of that stuff together and keep things organized it's not that big of an issue especially if it's not going to have a script or anything on it so let's see if this actually works so let's go ahead and hit play and you'll see that our enemy is now tracking our player now I've applied the scripts to this and so you can see that our enemy is running along okay he's he's tracking the player and and he's doing a really good job now I'm making it to where I can actually run faster than the enemy um, you could adjust that speed if you wanted to now that speed is going to be based on the the nav mesh agent okay not necessarily um, any script that we've created on that okay so looking good we've got our enemy going and we now have our mothership in here let's go ahead and just kinda wait for our enemy to show up so there he is he's going kinda slow and so the the point of this is we're we're trying to collect energy and we're trying to deposit it to the mothership and so we want to kind of try to keep an eye on where we're at try to keep our bearings which is also why I have not created a, a system for the camera to flip it's staying in the same direction so if you start to notice that you're at the edge of the map you know well maybe I need to go back toward the center now as you begin running around it's very possible that the nav mesh agent might find a better way to get back to you so you may actually be going right into that so that's all part of the fun here so we're on our way to creating our very first game on this so there are a couple of other things that we need to take care of and there is our mothership awesome so we're on our way to making our very first game and so now what we need to do is we need to create the objects that are going to be our energy so I think that that's probably what this error is screaming about right here and if we double click on this and we go into uh, model develop it's saying uh, mothership and we're looking for player inventory and collected energy it doesn't know where that's at and so the player inventory script actually has to go on our player so while we're here let's go ahead and just take care of that um, just to make things nice and easy so let's go to the player game object let's hit F on the keyboard 
and then let's go to the inspector and let's add a component and we are going to add our script player inventory and so now everything should work properly let's hit play we shouldn't see any um, issues it's saying that there's a null reference exception um, let's go ahead and stop that let's take a look at that we just want to clear up anything that might be a problem for some reason in unity right now I'm getting these two errors they don't have anything to do with our scripts or our game so I'm just gonna ignore those for right now I think it might might be something wrong with the um, the editor itself sometimes this happens I'm, I'm not really sure how to explain that but there's nothing wrong with our project we can just go ahead and move on um, like it's not even there alright so let's go ahead and get started with our energy in our next lesson <laughs>